Hello folks, I am back with a firearm and this one is one that you've seen before. So I am reintroducing it right now because I did something stupid. Uh, let me explain. Uh, I'm a big fan of Tactical Toolbox and he had a 509 that was pretty much decked out and I wanted to have mine like that. And KS Gun Guy gave a warning and that warning was you got to be careful of a certain pen and it was a bear to work with and i do not have really a lot of skill with um with putting in triggers i've only successfully worked on two triggers and that being a, my glock 34 and i've also done some a little bit of trigger work on the 1911s but for some reason i'm not good with triggers and I'm going to tell you right now this is my first and last time I will be working with an aftermarket trigger ever again because I've been used to doing uh, the standard triggers so this is going to be the last time I haven't seen this firearm in some time so what I did was sent it uh, to Apex after I screwed up and they were gracious enough to help me through this and they really did a fantastic job. And here it is. This is my 509 Tactical Black. And as you see, there's the trigger here. And that trigger is a, what they call their blue line uh, series. And I'll explain a little bit about that. Uh, you'll see the Vortex Venom is installed on top of here. And that's the uh, 3 MOA one. Uh, and you see the Olight Valkyrie PL2 on here. And you'll see a compensator in the front. This, uh, this compensator is made by a company called uh, Acron. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Acron or Acron. And this is uh, the original uh, compensator that I wanted to get. There was some type of recall for, from that company. So I ended up uh, getting this one. And what's unique about getting this particular uh, uh, compensator is at the bottom, there are screws right here. So if you screw it on and it doesn't set evenly, you can turn it into the proper position and uh, use these uh, screws here that clamp down and hold the uh, compensator in place. Uh, but since I don't, uh, since I don't have any uh, uh, sound suppressors, I figured if I'm going to have this, I might as well do something with it, with it, with the, with the threaded barrel. So I decided to do a comp on here. So uh, this works out uh, very well. So I want it to be all tactical. Uh, with this and this is the result but my problem was I was hammering which was I believe it was this pen I can't really tell I, I believe it was this pen or that pen I can't remember but the way I hammered the pen I must I damaged the pen and made it mushroom out and therefore I believe it was this pen and therefore I couldn't get it back together and when I did get it back together, I did it twice. I And what happened was, at that point, I could not get the slide off because of my stupidity. But uh, I contacted uh, Apex Tactical. I sent the firearm away, and it took uh, quite some time because they do have a backlog. So be patient because uh, you... They get a lot of these uh, firearms in the 509s, and my understanding is they do work with law enforcement. And I'm really grateful that they were able to uh, take care of this for me. Let me just show clear. There's nothing in here. And, of course, it's empty in here. Uh, and while they, since I racked it, this gives just a little bit of take up right here. Actually, this right here, you pull, that's it. That's all, the, that's all it is. When it comes back, and there's a click there. 
I've been shooting this firearm at the range and I'm going to tell you something. I really love this trigger. This trigger is a great complement to the 509 Tactical or uh, or the regular 509 for that matter. It's um it's a great uh asset. I was I got another 509 uh regular one, so I wanted to keep one stock and because uh, it's a really good firearm is it, it, it's a decent firearm for the price and the quality. And I wanted to have one that I could kind of like call my tactical firearm to make it look cool or whatever. But all that aside, this is a very, very accurate firearm. Um, this trigger adds to your steady hand and shooting and uh, you got to do your part, which is number one, but it's really, really a good trigger to, uh, to shoot. And I shot a, roughly about, uh, it already, this firearm already had um, roughly 300 rounds in its stock condition. I just put in a good uh, 100 rounds in today just because I just picked it up from my, uh, uh, from my dealer and it, it came back from Apex because I had to send it from dealer to dealer. Uh, for well, FFL, I had to send when you send the entire firearm back. Um, even with I, I forgot to turn the um, the Vortex Venom on, and with that fiber optic uh, sight in the front, or I'm sorry, the the night sight in the front with these in the back, this made for a great sight picture. And I didn't realize I didn't have the dot on until. Uh, roughly about five rounds in, and then I decided to turn it on, and it it just worked out really great. Uh, let me show you uh, a target real quick, and let me see if I can get that target real quick. Okay, here's the target. Uh, the first set of shots are going to be at seven yards trying to figure out where I'm shooting. Uh, these are all my mistake here. I wind up um, not having proper placement and I turn the firearm and of course I got these these horrible shots here or else this would have been just perfect right in the center here. So this is, uh, like I said, this is at seven yards. I sent the target out to 10 yards and I'm pretty much shot in here, sent it to 12 yards, and right about here, now this was at 15 yards, but when I sent it out to 12 yards, I was hitting pretty decent up around in here uh, pretty well. Then I kind of like uh, was trying to just check out my aim and then threw that shot off. So... When I sent it out to 15 yards, I shot these right here. This is all my fault. And then I finally raised it up to where I wanted to shoot at. And I finally got it centered to where I wanted, wanted to be. So I, I'm, I'm telling you, I really had a lot of fun with this firearm. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to shoot this some more because this is really really a good uh firearm to play around with especially with a compensator one of the concerns that people have when you have a compensator on here and one of the smart things that fn did was they included an extra uh a recoil uh, assembly and i was i did not have any malfunctions i thought i had a hiccup but i didn't really have any malfunctions with this but uh, and the reason why I said about the hiccup is because I really didn't lock this down or put Loctite on it because when I took it out the box from the dealer where uh, because it was being shipped, so maybe it loosened up or whatnot. So uh, I'm going to do a cleaning, then I'll reattach this, and then I'll put the, a little bit of blue Loctite on on so I can either so I can be able to take it off or put it back on when I want instead of having the permanent Loctite on. So 
I'm telling you, I, I really uh, enjoyed this. This trigger is fantastic. Uh, I, again, I want to thank Apex. I want to thank them for something else as well. Uh, they've been doing what they call the Blue Line series. This uh, this is donated to uh, whenever you purchase this particular trigger. They donate the pro, uh, some of the proceeds to fallen police officers, families, or children who are uh, about to go to college or, or, or trying to get into college and they need that extra help. Um, so I believe um, through all the sales from from this from Ape, from Apex, uh, they had uh, accumulated about one hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars for that particular cause, and I really thank um, Apex for that. Especially being last week was Police Week, uh, so that's all basically I have to say right now. Uh, just uh, happy shooting, stay safe, and hashtag 2A.